Hello everyone, it's Anita and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about Slavic languages, how to learn Slavic languages, well more specifically how to learn them with the Ling app. I already made a video about the Ling app a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen that video there are 60 languages you can learn on the Ling app. Just to summarize what I like about them. Uh, is that they are the same units, like the same lessons for every language and I also like that you can do the lessons offline and the different uh, little games they have depending on what language you're learning. I will show you everything uh, when I get to the languages. I will write the timestamps in the description box so you can skip some of these parts which I totally understand because I have a feeling that I will talk a lot in this video. Something I also need to mention is that I joined their affiliate program so if you get a subscription through my link I will get a small commission. Um, you obviously you know don't have to do that. Also you can do the first two units for free and that's also what I would recommend. Just try the app see if you like it. Not everyone learns the same way so yeah definitely try the app before getting a subscription. Okay, so let's get into the video. Something you need to know about me and Slavic languages <laughs> is that I speak Serbian. It's my mother tongue, but not my best language, if that makes sense. And I'm also learning Russian. Both of these languages are on the Ling app. The other languages are Bosnian, Bulgarian, Croatian, Czech, Polish, Slovak, Slovenian, and Ukrainian. I think those are all of them. So yeah, not not every Slavic language is on there, but you know, most of them are. And I think I'm just going to start with Russian because that's, I guess, the language that most people are learning when they're learning a Slavic language. So that's what the lessons, or should I say the units, look like. We're here at the beginner section. Yeah, there are 10 units here. And then you get the intermediate section, upper intermediate, advanced and the expert section. So there are 50 units and in each unit there are different lessons. At the top you see this review button where I can review some of the words I've learned. There's also a chatbot here. I will get to that later. Here you can also see, well, the different lessons. And then a speaking and a writing game and also the exam part where you review everything. There's not a speaking or writing game for every language. Uh, well, the writing game is only for languages that have a different script than the Latin script, but also not for every language. At least not yet. I don't know if they're, they're planning on doing that for the other languages as well. And the speaking game, I think that's self-explanatory. Let's do one I haven't done yet, something a bit more interesting. In the cafe. So here you see the different uh, lessons. Fructový sok. Jemu ne nравится pít fructový sok. You hear the word and then you get an uh, example how you can use that word. By the way, this is not in the Cyrillic script. You can also click uh, on this sign here in the top right corner and you get sort of a romanized version so that helps you if you um, are not that familiar with the Cyrillic script. Яблочный сок. Ей нравится пить яблочный сок. Something I really like about this app is that if they ask you for the answer, like right here, select the correct answer for fruit juice, they don't show you the pictures because the picture would obviously give it away. So what I really like is that they don't do that. Fructový sok. Then match these cards. Then uh, for this part you have to spell it. You could, I guess, also do the romanized version if you want to. Um, It's okay, but I think it would be more challenging if you had to type it yourself. That way you would make more mistakes and really have to think about, you know, what you're going to type. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, here you have something where you have to um, pick the right sentence. Что вы будете пить? 
Я бы хотел яблочного сока. У нас есть три объема. Маленький, средний и большой. Какой объем вы желаете? Я предпочитаю маленький стакан яблочного сока. Пожалуйста, подождите минутку. Холодный кофе. Холодный кофе. Ты возьмешь большую кружку пива. Ты возьмешь большую кружку пива. Я возьму маленький стакан яблочного сока. Я возьму маленький стакан яблочного сока. Окей, я должен это делать снова. Это было хорошо. Нет, это не было хорошо. Я возьму маленький стакан яблочного сока. And there's an exam, but I'm not going to do it. I think you know how this works. Something you might have noticed is that there's no grammar explanation. That's a bit unfortunate. The Ling app has that feature for some languages like German, I want to say Korean. Like I think there were like five or so languages where they had that grammar section. Something I fo forgot to show you uh, is if you click on review all, you can Look at the vocabulary and you can also look at the different dialogues. Now I just quickly wanted to talk about Serbian. Serbian is the only European language that has two scripts. They have the Cyrillic script and the Latin script. Some people might be put off by Serbian because they think they need to learn the Cyrillic script when that's not the case. And the Ling app they use the Latin script. Dali možete da mi pomognete da isplaniram moj odmor? Gde želite da idete? Ja još uvek nisam odlučila gde da idem. Da li ste ikada bili na ostrovu? Ne, nisam. So I will now move on to Croatian. They have a speaking game. They don't have that for Serbian or Bosnian. Ok, let's do occupation and workplace. On radi kao upravitelj u tvrtki. That audio was a bit weird. On radi kao upravitelj u tvrtki. I don't know what to say. How is that even correct? Okay. Ja radim kao tajnica u tvrtki. Ja radim kao tajnica u tvrtki. The names of the months are different in Croatian than in Serbian and Bosnian. The only month I know is Listopad. I don't know the others, <laughs> but we'll find out um, probably. So that's one. Sjećan ima 31 dan. Sjećan ima 31 dan. 25. prosinca. 25. prosinca. You know what? I'm actually going to Bosnian and show you the chatbot. Let's say you go to a restaurant in Bosnia. Ah, oh, so yeah, now, now you're the waitress actually. <laughs> so you use this. Dobrodošli u naš restoran. Hvala vam. Now you can choose do you want the formal version or the informal version. Uh, oh, sorry, here's the translation, by the way. I would use this one. Molim vas, sjedite. <laughs> sorry. Mogu li molim vas dobiti meni na engleskom? Da, sačekajte malo, molim vas. Do you ask someone what we like to drink or do you just ask do you drink alcohol? Da li pijete alkohol? Želio bih zeleni čaj. So this guest doesn't drink alcohol and wants tea instead. So you ask hot or cold. Vruć ili hladan. It's just funny to me because I have a family member that sounds exactly like this woman. I think the chatbot 
is interesting if you want to practice different uh, sentences you could use in a conversation. It doesn't always make that much sense, but uh, I still think it's uh, cool if you're just starting to learn a language and you're too shy to reach out to someone who speaks that language. Okay, so now let's go to the other Slavic languages. Bulgarian. The interesting thing about Bulgarian is that they have articles which I would say most Slavic languages don't have. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, uh, let's look at some basic sentences. And here you get the writing game if you want to learn the alphabet. Da spia. Toi spi. Pazaruvane. Asu kivam da pazaruvam. Yeah, it's different. Da gledam film. Ti gledeš film. Okay, that one's the same. Okay. Da govoria. Ти говориш. Okay, yeah. Да бягам. Тя бяга. Какво е това? Това е китайска книга. А това? Това е английски вестник. Hmm. Also, the woman sounds a lot like... Um, have you seen the second Borat movie? His daughter. The actress is Bulgarian, so... I know, it just sounds a lot like her. Let's go to check. Jedenast. Дивце е jedenast let. Dvanast. Хлапци е 12 лет. 11. Like the word is similar enough for me to know it. 20. Он ма 20 лет. Окей. Падеса. Мои матце е 50 лет. Колик вам е лет? Мне е 30 лет. Мате някое сауроженце? Ано. Я мам братра. Колик му е лет? Е му 25 лет. Окей. Should I do this for fun? But I really, I don't know. Check, so... Jeden tisíc studentů se učí čínsky. Jeden tisíc studentů se učí čínsky. <laughs> I mean, I, I warn you, I warn you. Jeden tisíc studentů se učí čínsky. Jeden tisíc... Jeden tisíc studentů se učí čínsky. Jeden tisíc studentů se učí čínsky. I'll try something else. Ta dívka žije v pokoji číslo 13. Ta dívka žije v pokoji číslo 13. Polish, of course, Polish. What should we do for Polish? Numbers and family. Rodina. My jesteśmy czteroosobową rodziną. Wow. Ojciec. To jest mój ojciec. Matka. To jest moja matka. Makes sense. Syn. To jest twój syn. Okej. Okay. Córka. To jest twoja córka. Oni są moim rodzeństwem. Oni są moim rodzeństwem. Okej. Okay. Oni są moim rodzeństwem. Oni są moim rodzeństwem. De, ja na... Młodsza siostra. Wait, what? Młodsza siostra? Whew, that was something else. As you can see, I was a bit surprised there, but you know. It sounds beautiful though, like don't get me wrong. Okay, let's go to Slovak. Zelenina. My si dáme zeleninovú polievku. Dáme si zeleninovú polievku. Mrkva. V polievke je kurácie meso a mrkva. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, um... Zemiak. V jedle je bravčové meso a zemiaky. Interesting. Paradajka. Vo vyprážené ryži sú paradajky. It's paradise in Serbian, so... Cool, cool, cool. Hríb. Vo máčke sú hríby. I think the word is, in, the, uh, is similar in Russian. Ty môžeš jesť štipľavé. Ty môžeš jesť štipľavé. Vo máčke sú hríby. Fumačke su hribi. And now we get to Slovenian. Ustopitin. Prosimo ustopitin. Usisti sen. Prosimo usidite se tukaj. Naročitin. Prosimo naročite hranon. Počakatin. Prosimo počakajte trenutak. Menin. You don't write the N because I hear an N at the end. Menin. But it's not 
Mm, okay. I don't know. Let me know if anyone's from Slovenia or speaks Slovenian. Slovene, I guess you can you can say both Slovene or Slovenian. Let's look at a chatbot as well. Introduction. Let's do that. Zdravon. Hmm, which one should I oh show me the translation? Dobr večer. Kakosin. Ja sam zelo dobro. Hvala ti. It's not that different. In ti? U redu sam. Se vidiva k malo. Se vidimo kasneje. And let's go to the last language. Ukrainian. Place and locations. I ti? Ja idu do škole. Zoopark. Mi idemo u zoopark. Pljaž. Ti ideš na pljaž. Restoran. Vona ide do restoranu. Mm, ok, so it's Vona. Muzej. Diti ljubljaj hoditi u muzej. Oh, that's interesting that I. You see it here with... Diti ljubljaj hoditi u muzej. Diti. That I. That letter. That's interesting. Kodi vi zbirajetes? Ja zbirajus do restoranu. Ja holodni. Vi vže jili? Še ni. Ne bažajete piti razum pojisti? Tak. Interesting. Now there's an I with two dots. <laughs> I'm sorry, I sound like such an idiot. But like I never, I've never looked at Ukrainian, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Now that's why I'm surprised. That looks interesting. Okay. My camera stopped recording. My takeaway from this is, okay, some languages are more similar to each other than others. I knew that Slovenian was different so i expected that i was a bit surprised by ukrainian i hope this video was helpful um <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel that will make my day see you in my next video bye